Now this video is going to be a little sidebar on how to edit the, the, the bubbles on the end of your little column grid. You'll notice how large they are compared to that text. Uh, the dimensions are, are, are quite small. Now that, that is, if I grab that dimension, uh, I hit edit type, you'll notice any of the text is actually 330 seconds. If I go on down, I think it's 330 seconds, yeah. Uh, so that's 330 seconds. Uh, and you'll say, that looks good when I print that out, but you'll notice the A is like, you know, as big as your automobile. So it's just massive. So you say, I want to reduce that. Well, um, if we go ahead and select it, the first thing we want to do is look at uh, what's available under edit type. When we hit edit type, you'll notice that it says, I am using quadrant, just the name of it, quarter inch bubble. And it has a certain uh, look and feel, but notice down here, it says symbol and all that. And you're like, oh man, that's not um, really, not a lot of options I can change in here. So what we're going to do is, you see it says duplicate, okay? Uh, what I'd like you to do is duplicate it, and let's call this uh, maybe HSA bubble. So this is your bubble now, okay? Uh, we've given its own name, so whenever we create grid lines, we use the HSA bubble. Now, you may want to change uh, maybe the grid line pattern or how things are looking, but for the most part, let's say, it's looking good except for that head. That head's looking big. So it's using a symbol called grid head circle. So what we're going to do is let's go ahead and hit OK on that. Now sometimes families are nested, okay? And that's that was grid head circle. So we're going to go back to what Jason was saying a few minutes ago. Let's scroll on down all the way down on the left hand side. You're going to see after sheets, you're going to see families. And then you'll see annotation symbols. Let's expand that one. Under annotation, let's scroll on down and you'll see grid head circle. Now when you select it and you roll it out, there's another subset called grid head circle. All right? Now, you'll notice that I have the ability here to click on it, then I can right click. And you've got different options depending on where you click on these. Now what I'd like you to do is if you click on a subset, okay, and you right click, you'll see down here it says type properties. So grid head circle type properties. Okay. Now up top you see it says grid head circle. I want you to duplicate it and let's change it to grid head HSA circle or just HSA. You can wipe that whole thing out if you want HSA circle. We hit OK on that. Notice it has a radius built in. So the radius is quarters. That's a half inch circle. That's a pretty big circle on a sheet. So let's go maybe something smaller. So we'll try something maybe, I don't know, uh, half inch should be, what, maybe three eighths? What was it for, a quarter? Okay, so it would be three sixteenths maybe? Three sixteenths. Hit OK on that. Okay, now we have an HSA circle. It's at three sixteenths. Now here's where we got to go back to the original one. We'll pick it. Now see it says HSA bubble. Edit type and you'll see what head do you want to use. I want to use my HSA. Hit apply. And you'll see that it jumps smaller. So it is a two step process. We had to create our own grid and then we had to go create our own bubble. Uh, to put on there, which was this one that we duplicated, and it made it smaller. So now it's time to, to change them all. So I grab one grid, right click, select all instances in the entire project, and I say, yeah, you're not the typical quarter bubble anymore. You, you are our HSA bubble. You notice how they all change throughout the project. Now, one thing you notice is there was no, there was no text parameter, and yep, data, it actually doesn't look centered, right? So what we can do is actually go into the family. Now this is going to be a little bit, uh, a little deep, but it's uh, not too complicated. I want you to go back to where you had grid head circle, and if you highlight it and right click, you'll see in here it says edit. Okay, grid head circle edit. Now when it opens up, you'll notice in here we have a circle. Okay, good uh, Good question. Let me close out of that. If you didn't get it, it may be where you've selected. So I'm going to go down toward the bottom. Okay, now 
you have grid head circle and then subset grid head circle. So pick on the top grid head circle, right click, and you should see an edit. Okay. Uh, and when you hit edit, it's going to open up in the editor. Now this is going to get a little a little crazy, but we need to find out what the insertion point is, right? So type in VV as in Victor, Victor, or LA if we did that from earlier. But VV, you'll see these are the layers. Notice how many layers you got? You're thinking, none. Let's go to annotation categories. Notice the dimensions and reference lines and planes are turned off. So let's turn all that back on. Let's hit OK. Now in here you're going to see something that says radius 3 16 We're happy with that. That's We're all good with that. But you notice the text here. If you roll over that element, that's actually what's called a label. And currently that text is 3 16 tall. Um, if we wanted to make it smaller, we may be able to drop this down and there may be a smaller text in it, but it's not. So we're going to follow the rules. Let's hit edit type, duplicate it, and set it to an eighth of an inch. So we're going to duplicate, and then we're going to set the text to text size eighth of an inch. I'm taking a few extra steps here because I want to make sure you get the right rules here. We hit OK on that. So it should drop, drop down now. So what we've done is we've changed the label to eighth of an inch. So we went edit type, duplicate, eighth of an inch. And then an eighth inch, we set it to eighth inch text, and we hit OK. The text should have gotten smaller. At this time, we'll load it back into the project. I'm not sure which one. OK. Overwrite the existing version, and they all should drop. So we did two different edits there. One, the user who built the block gave us the radius diameter to play with, and that was nice. But they didn't give us a text option, so we actually had to go into the family and manipulate it. So that's what we did there. We did it two different ways, but now we have our own little grid that we like. So if I grab that grid and I type CS for create similar, well, guess what it's going to use? It's going to use our grid and we're good to go. Now we could go in there and have, you may have three or four different grid types that you may use for different projects or existing versus uh, new to make that happen. But it's all about duplicating and then editing.